conclusive enough to link the murderer of Celia Shepard to other murders in the Vallejo area in the past year. Anywhere in the Bay Area or anywhere, he should go to the nearest law enforcement agency and turn himself in. And we will try to do whatever we can to help this man. Does it seem to you as if uh, you're pretty much on the verge of finding this man? Well, I wouldn't want to say that, uh, Dave. Uh, we're hoping. Uh, we've, we've got some good things working for us, but it takes time. Mm -hmm. And to be able to reach out and pluck this guy out of the air isn't done. Uh, uh, in most murder cases, you'll find a motive. But, of course, this guy is just a killer, mm -hmm. uh, a mad killer, and you have no motive. So it makes it a little bit harder for us to track him down. It's also fairly obvious that the man greatly enjoys the publicity that surrounds this thing. And there's a chance that man could be watching this interview. That's true. What would you have Very to true. say to this man? Uh, about the only thing I could say to him uh, would, I think he realizes he needs help. I'm sure he does. And I'm sure he realizes what he's doing. And this is, uh, to me, uh, it's a sex crime. He's doing this for gratification. And I feel that he should definitely uh, seek aid at any agency that he wants to go to in law enforcement. If I remember right, uh, in speaking with one of the deputies uh, who was investigating this thing, he said that the first thing you told a deputy uh, out there was to give some idea of a description of the man. Do you understand now how your mind was able to work that well <coughs> under those conditions? That you really did an exceptional job in that. Well, to the whole thing, like I mentioned before, I, at the beginning, I did think I was going to die. and so. From that moment on, one has to have certain goals that you have to set. The first goal, of course, was to live. Uh, I suppose the second goal was to uh, get untied. Uh, the next one was to get help. From getting help, uh, getting to the hospital. You know, you have to have a, a successful yes. set of goals. And if you can keep this going and you can keep your mind active, you, I don't, uh, whether you die or not, you're at least psychologically uh, a tune, whether uh, you're in shock or not, if you can keep arguing with yourself, uh, praying, uh, uh, doing, doing anything to keep your mind off of yourself, or at least just not lapsing back and just saying, well, it's no use. Brian will probably be able to leave Queen of the Valley Hospital fairly soon. But where he's going from here is being kept secret in the event that the man who attacked him and killed Cecilia Shepard on Lake Berryessa a week ago Saturday tries again. Brian made it for two reasons some people might regard as intangibles, but reasons that for him were enough. A strong faith and an equally strong will to live. Dave Monsies, Eyewitness News at Queen of the Valley Hospital, Napa. You know that this man is still at large mm -hmm. and that there is a better than uh, average possibility that this could be the same man who was involved in four murders over in Vallejo. Uh, can you think of anything that you might want to tell that man at all?
I considered him a robber. I had absolutely no thought uh, that he was anything but that. And when we were at this robbery stage, I didn't consider any real threat to my life or to, or to the girl yeah. or anything. I really didn't consider this, but I, I really wanted to help him. And uh, he did didn't. He, did he seem as though he would like your help at all? No, he didn't. And he didn't even end up taking the money. But he, he I, I. Bear no grudge? Well, of course not. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that, that he was acting under his co total, complete, uh, t total complete consciousness. And uh, uh, when a man is, if, if you don't mind using the word sick, uh, you, can't, you can't hold this against them. But the, the real concern that I have is that he doesn't do this again. I would li I, uh, I'd like to see some people save this, this experience. Early last Saturday evening, Celia Shepard and Brian Hartnell, both in their early 20s, were sitting on this knoll of land overlooking part of Lake Berryessa. They thought they were alone, but there was a third man on this knoll, a man who wore a medieval-style executioner's hood, carried a knife and gun, and intended to use them. I've had 11 years patrolling this lake, and I've seen a lot of people cut up by boat accidents and this, but this is one of the worst things I ever witnessed uh, for no reason at all. Just a hooded man came up with a pistol drawn on him, tied him up, and then told him he had to kill him. So. This guy is a pathological uh, psycho uh, killer. There's no doubt about it. Is there any doubt in your mind that there is or is not any connection between Vallejo and, and uh, Barry Essen? This I, we're sifting out now. Uh, I wouldn't say that there is any connection, uh, yet I wouldn't want to tell you that there isn't right. uh, at this time. Uh, we have some, some pretty good physical evidence that we're working on now. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're going to get together with, with the Vallejo authorities. Uh, we've been in contact with them uh, since the incident, and uh, we definitely will uh, pool our, our uh, resources. Tied him up, and then he still didn't take the money. And the kid said, the money's in my pocket. He said, I don't want the money. All I want to do is kill you. Yeah, when I arrived on the scene at, uh, Saturday night around 7, 13, well, uh, found this young girl in on the uh, shoreline here, all stabbed in several places. And her boyfriend, male companion, had came to from, he had been stabbed, and he had taken off for help. Mm -hmm. And the other patrolman came in, which is Dennis Land. He found him some hundred yards from here, passed out. So he brought him back to the scene of the, uh, where the girl was. Seven forty p.m. Uh, Officer Slate at the Napa Police Department received this call, and the subject stated, uh, "I want to report a murder. No, a double murder. Uh, they are about two miles above." park headquarters in Lake Berryessa and they are driving a Volkswagen Carmen Ghia mm -hmm. and with that the officer asked well where are you now and uh, he stated uh, uh, I did it and with that the officer could feel that there was nobody on the line he, he said are you there are you there and, and Captain, there was no answer.